Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about my Samsung 40 inch TV. I did put up a video on a previous TV I had probably a few years ago and how much I prefer the glossy finish to a TV than per se all these matte finish expensive monitors even if they are IPS panel or not. Um, thought about it and I do have an HDMI output on my card, um, my motherboard. So old gigabyte uh, gaming five something. <laughs> 2017 when I built it, I was trying to make a hack of that time. I still think that was a mistake. I um, won't do, ever do that again. I like both systems, both Apple and Windows, but Windows gives you more leeway to put a water cooler on it and change things and upgrade and stuff. Apple kind of locks you in there and tells you no, even though you pay for the product. They do the same thing with their phones, and I don't appreciate that. So I pretty much don't use Apple anymore. If I had the money, I might use both, but you know. Windows is preferable for me right now. I do have a water cooler on my computer. <laughs> uh, 240, um, maybe Corsair. So, I described the TV and I broke it because there was a giant palmetto bug or water bug, whatever it is. Palmetto bug. Um, and I was chasing it. And I knocked down the TV and I cracked it. I got zip ties on the feet now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put larger ones later on so I can move the desk and if I go to hit the TV I'm not necessarily gonna knock it down hopefully I don't break it for it or something like that but I do have two extra feet and the one odd thing about the TV um, didn't come with the screws the four screws were missing for the feet they were not in the feet they were not in the TV but I had an old TV which is the same exact one same feet same everything so I kind of lucked out I didn't have to wait all the screws or find the pitch and the size screw uh, for that and because it's not always that easy <laughs> uh, trying to do this stuff especially when you're frustrated um, definitely enjoyed having that TV before I broke it for a while and I never put up a video on it but I get a chance to do it today okay um, illustrate the box the bo it's the same illustration on both sides so you're not missing anything seeing the front to back uh, you can see the connections to it and I do use two. I do use 1080p because of my eyesight. I cannot see very close very well, so I prefer that. The TV came at 150% zoom. I don't know why, but I put it back to 100, and it was in the TV. And it was in the computer settings, not in the display settings. Okay. It, uh, what else? Um, I also sh uh, hopefully illustrate how to check the audio. You might have to touch your speaker button on the bottom and it should be a little out up you open that up in case you have different sources because it came with the speakers for the TV on and I use my own system a couple of Sony's with a Focusrite uh, little red box here I use uh, forget the name of it I had it for a long time <laughs> I use it for voiceover for my YouTube videos either way I'm hoping not to make the video too long I hope you enjoy any questions please ask it's a nice setup and I know a lot of people have been doing this a lot longer than probably me but I think it's a great setup see you guys in the next one bye Okay, you guys, um, this isn't anything special. It's only 1080p. It's because of my age, I can't see very good. I'll be 60 in a few months. I can see great, you know, past a certain point, uh, especially far, but near sighted, I am not can't see very good. So, hence getting a 1080p instead of 4K where the pixels are half the size on the same real estate. You get more pixels, but you got to have these nice eyes for that, and I don't have that. So uh, this is why I got a 1080p. I did have maybe a TCL TV, if I said that correctly. I have a video up on it. Uh, worked good for me. It might have been a 32 inch, using it as a monitor. And I like using the TVs as a monitor 10 times better than monitors because you can get a really nice product like this for $300 instead of paying some exorbitant price for some computer monitor that has a, uh, oh, I forget what the finish they call that, a matte finish. Where the apples look very nice, they have that nice gloss finish. And a TV like this is going to give you a, a similar finish to an Apple at, you know, a much less price. Uh, downfall would be you have to turn the TV on and off. doesn't turn on and off with the computer. Some, I, I remember, if I remember correctly, a lot of monitors can turn on and off with a computer. Setting up on Windows in black and white, doing uh, color correction if you're not, you know, editing 
for video professionally or you're not a professional photographer, this is easy to do it in Windows. It does it for, shows you how to do it. Uh, it's not a, a big deal. Um, really like the real estate uh, 40 inch. It's a little big and it did fall down. See it right there? I still want to have for about a year and a half. No, I'm not even sure if I had it for two years. Um, so this is a new one I had to get to replace that one. Basically what happened was it was this giant water bug crawling on my wall. And I chased him down. <laughs> and he was just a little too fast for me. And I bumped my TV and it fell down. So I'm going to take some zip ties. I think you guys can see where the feet are at. I'm going to zip ties the feet to my desk that I built. That's also in my collection of videos if you guys want to see that. I built a computer desk myself because I didn't like it. I'd like to do another one because I'm not 100% satisfied with it. It came out okay for what I intended, but I think I can do much better. Either way, I'll open it up. I'll show you the picture, how it works. Hopefully, I can give you a decent illustration without making the video too long. Okay, you guys got any questions, just ask. I'll be glad to answer your questions. Again, I had the other one for a year and a half before I broke it. And I'm going to use zip ties on the feet to hold it down so hopefully it doesn't fall down. Because I was just on the verge of grabbing it and ah, I couldn't get it. With, with the zip ties, I'm pretty sure it would not fail down. Okay, time to pause the video until I take it out of the box, set it up. I'm going to use HDMI. I have a gigabyte something five card uh, from a computer I built in 2017. I must have spent over $1,700 trying to make a Hackintosh and... I think you're better off either buying an Apple product or buying a Windows product or having both if that's, you know, your thing. It's up to you. But uh, I didn't like the idea that Hackintosh program's not working right. Updates, having to change things. Uh, it's just tedious. And I, I couldn't get anything to work 100%. Could get a lot of things to work, but not 100%. So I will never do that again. Either way, let me pause the video until I take it out of the box, set it up, and you guys can see my setup, okay? Oh, down four. <laughs> you have to turn the TV on and off. It doesn't turn on and off like a monitor uh, mic with a computer. Okay? Other than that, the computer's great. Um, I mean, the monitor's great. And I really do like the finish so much better than that matte finish you get on the monitor. I don't know why they all went to that. When, when Apple products are so much better. Hence the TV. And the price savings. Okay, I just pulled out the box. There's a remote, power cord, a manual, and a setup guide, which is pretty quick. Basically tells you to grab the edges. Don't put your fingers on the TV. Uh, how to locate the feet on there. How to install it. It illustrates putting the TV down on its face to put the feet on, or the back to put the feet on. And the other side... How to actually mount the TV. Okay. And on, over here on the left side, the ports. See if we can get you that picture there, that image there. Okay. Your idea. There's two HDMI on there, which is nice. A couple of stuff. Things there, you guys can see. Looks like RCA video cable and audio cable, which is pretty old school. <laughs> uh, and there look, there is a landline for the internet. Okay, I believe that's what that is. It doesn't I'm not sure if it's the Ethernet. What does it say there? It just shows a plug-in line. It could be. I don't think it's a telephone line. I have to look that one up. You guys can school me. Hey. Okay, so that's the quick setup guide. Let me pause the camera for a second to movie magic, take the cover off. As you guys see what I see. Okay, that's basically it until I take the plastic off, put the feet on, and set it up. Okay, um, remote control came with batteries, a plug. Um, I still have my old remote control, so it should work fine. Okay, there's the label right there. Two HDMI, one USB. Those are the other ports. You guys have already seen that. Okay, we're trying again. I try to set the size of the image to 1080p, but it was already at 1080p. For some reason, it defaulted to 150%. So I had to go in settings, 
on the computer and not in the TV and set it to 100% and then I got pretty much my picture back. Let's see if I can get on you. Okay, we're trying Welcome again. Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandela here. There's a lot of viruses, bacteria, and pollen in the air. When it comes to congested sinus. Okay. okay. Definitely had to go into settings. Into display or systems. This was set at 150 for some reason. I had to set it to 100. Was already 1920 by 1080. And now that you see I got my picture back, you can see what my picture should actually look like. Uh, let's go out of here. We should be able to escape settings. Oh, I've got to close it up here. Excuse me. Uh, and the sound definitely works. I had to go here. Uh, click here. And there's a little arrow here. I had different choices. It had me at Samsung. I'm using a Focusrite. A uh, little box, a little red box, about 100 bucks. Uh, you could put a guitar, a microphone in it. I use it for voiceover. And it, my husband, my speakers are connected to. So if you have trouble, two things to look for would be the CR settings in your computer. It might default to a different setting. And make sure your audio, you pick the proper one, okay? I'm good. You guys already heard the sound. The picture quality is awesome. It looks, uh... I'm not going to say it looks Apple quality, but it looks a whole lot better than a matte finish to me anyway. Ten times better. Uh, which is what you, you get for the money, for the most part. Okay. Um, I'm back in business. <laughs> the, I didn't get the zip ties yet, but when I go to the shop, I got to go out with my wife a little bit. I will be getting the zip ties and put them on. I really think this is the best option for most people. Uh, getting a monitor. For my older eyes, 100%. Um, then paying... For, outrageous price for some matte finish monitor you know even if it is IPS panel this panel is actually very decent I have to go a good 25 30 degrees before I start seeing a different finish so it's not bad it's actually excellent quality I think you guys will enjoy any questions asked I'll be glad to leave in the comments below